Speaking at GIC's 30th anniversary conference, Prime Minister Lee Hsien Loong spoke on the financial and political landscape around the world and suggested one way Singapore can improve life for its citizens is by transforming and upgrading its economy. We can't grow just by volume, by quantity, by increasing our workforce indefinitely. There has to be some growth in the workforce over time to have some lift. But our objective is also to improve incomes across the board. In other words, we're interested in per capita GDP and not, total, not just total GDP. And we want to improve incomes across the board. And that includes the middle income households as well as those at the lower end. And that, as you know, is a challenge in many countries in this era of uh, both globalization as well as rapid technological change. PM Lee, also a deputy chairman at GIC, reflected on Singapore's progress over the past five years, while acknowledging that moving forward, the government has work ahead of them. But overall, if you take it over the last five years, we've made at least 5% growth on average. Incomes have gone up in real terms despite higher inflation. Households have more people employed. Our infrastructure has improved. Our economy, I think, is more competitive. We've made the progress, but we expect more. Singaporeans expect more, and we need to do more because I think the going, going, going ahead, the going is going to be more challenging. And therefore, my newly elected PAP government has its work cut out for it. PM Lee also touched on the value of the US dollar and how America's deficit is affecting Singapore and the world. It's a problem for the world. We worry for you, we worry for ourselves because it's not clear what other currency could become a new anchor for the global economy or how we can evolve from the US dollar to a radically different global financial order. Our best bet is to move progressively towards a multi-currency world for stability. Even that is complex. Singapore is a small player. We now have a seat at the IMF where uh, Finance Minister Taman is chairman of the IMFC. And for this year, we are also participating in the G20 process to discuss these important issues. Prime Minister Lee also spoke on Europe's sovereign debt problems, preventing them from playing a dynamic role in the world economy. Turning his eyes on Asia, PM Lee said that China and India are growing strongly and is sustaining Asia's financial growth. Between these two giants, Southeast Asia is overall stable, but facing various local problems. We have short-term inflationary pressures in several economies, worsened by high global food and oil prices. And Singapore is one of those carried along because we are so open. We have an agenda for ASEAN regional economic integration, which is progressing steadily. Uh, it's meant to be an ASEAN economic community by 2015, which is four years from now. We may not fully achieve this ambitious agenda, but we should make significant progress and give ourselves a more connected and business-friendly region. PM Lee also spoke on the relationship with our closest ASEAN neighbour, Malaysia, and Prime Minister Najib Razak's idea of One Malaysia, which aims to bring together all races, not just the Malays. The Chinese support so far has not been forthcoming to the government's efforts, but there have already been reactions from Malay hardline groups, including within UMNO, the governing Malay party to this wooing of non-Malay votes by the government. So the Prime Minister is treading a very delicate balance, very fine line, maintaining a difficult balance. And uh, we wish he succeeds, we hope he succeeds, because how this sensitive issue of race relations plays out will be crucial to Malaysia's long-term political and economic future. And a stable and a prospering Malaysia which is three quarters of a mile away from us across a very narrow strait on the other side of a causeway, is very important to our prosperity and stability. For PM Lee's full speech, check out the related clip.